Welcome to episode 160 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today we're going to talk about what it means to be a connection agency. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. Okay, so the sign is super cool. I know you saw it. Connection Agency. I'm not just going to talk about my agency in this podcast. I think that the, the mentality of connecting and the word agency, not just agency like a business, but an agent having agency is actually like having the power and authority to act a certain way. So when you do hire an agency like an organization, they have the power and authority to act on your behalf. But all of us have personal agency. We have the personal ability and responsibility to work on the behalf of those around us. And sometimes, I'm not just talking about our families, but I'm talking about the, the betterment of our neighbors and society and our country and ultimately the world, right? And these generations that are with us. So when I talk about marketing, let's talk about marketing for a second. A lot of people are focused on advertisements and creative work and all of that stuff. Attention is something we talk about a lot, right? People that give you attention in exchange for some level of value. And when a marketing agency makes something and asks for the attention of somebody, that person expects to get some value in return. I mean, this is how everyone operates and behaves on their own. When you're scrolling through your phone, something's got to catch your attention if you're going to give it some time. It's got to catch your attention. And then if it doesn't give you immediate value, what do we do? Well, we keep scrolling and the thumb keeps going up, and then until something gets our attention, then we stop and we look, and if it brings us value, we keep paying attention and more and more and more, and then when we really pay attention to something, right? Like imagine you watch something for five minutes, which is really a long time these days, I guess if you're watching something for five minutes on social media, but you watch it for five minutes and realize that I think I actually just connected with this piece of content in one way, and maybe it was funny, or maybe it was deep, but what happened was it hit something in your personality that you found valuable. And so I say in my business that we're not a marketing agency, we're not an advertising agency, we're not a creative agency, we're a connection agency. Because whether you're marketing to consumers like B2C or you're marketing to other businesses, which is B2B, regardless, what you're actually doing is marketing B2H, I say, business to human, and humans are wired to connect. They're wired to connect primally. Like think about survival, right? Safety in small groups, resources in small groups. And then emotionally, connection is what brings family together. It's what builds family. It's what builds community. And the connection beyond generations is what builds legacy. And so wind that back to like what I do for a living. I tell my staff, my team, like we're a connection agency. When we make a piece of content, when we write some words, when we're working with clients, even when we're dealing with competitors, what's the connection point? Can we make a human connection? Because if we can make a human connection, I know that we win. And whether you're talking about brand or personal relationships, when you make a personal connection, you win. If you're in sales or have ever been in sales, there's a mantra that says there's three steps, sell yourself sell the house or the company you work for, and then sell the thing. And all of those are different levels of connection. But the first one, sell yourself. And when you sell yourself, what you're doing is you're trying to make a connection. Oh, your kids play soccer? My kids play soccer. I mean, we want to make sure it's, in, it's genuine, right? But to find those things and those similarities that we have are really what drives us to move forward as people. So this episode, I want you to think about, are you cultivating the connection agency that you have. Now, if, you, if you're if you just listening to the podcast, there is a pink neon sign behind me that says connection agency. And I had it made so that we can hang it here in our, this is our new, uh, our new room for our artists and designers as we start to come back to work and connection agency, it's up there. But I'm asking you, 
Are you taking seriously the connection agency that you have in your life? Are you taking the relationships, whether it's relationships with your uh, significant other, with your children, with your neighbors, with your coworkers and colleagues, uh, even with your competitors, with the people in the supermarket that you stand in line with? Are you really making it a point to be an agent of connection? The environment we've been living in for the last year has frankly been disgusting. Obviously, COVID has put us in a situation where we have to be separate, right? But I'm also talking about the political environment, the cancel culture, the, the wokeness. All of it has bred a lack of connection and really a demonization of anybody that doesn't believe exactly what you do. And connection is being cut off at the past. Like if you have one little belief that I don't also agree with, well, then I sever connection. That's just not that's not okay. That's not okay. That's not okay for society. It's not okay to show our kids that it's not okay for the future. We all feel better when we're connected because we are better when we're connected. When you are close to other people, you then get the benefit of their expertise. You get the benefit of their resources and they get the benefit of yours. And when you're in close enough proximity to one another, what happens is both of you get better especially when you're both focused on moving forward. Connection, agency. You have in yourself the agency right this very minute to establish and cultivate connections. Connections like this one that you and I have because we're sharing content. Connections with the people that are in wherever you're at right now, whether you're at home or at work or in the car or in the supermarket. Look, you could be standing in the line next to somebody in the supermarket while you're listening to this podcast, and you don't know what that person's been through today. You don't know what they've been through this year. They might be just holding it together by a thread because they're so stressed out or they've lost somebody. You don't know. So what can you do and what can we do to build those human connections with one another? I want you to remember connection agency. You have the agency to build those connections. And I hope that you continue to do so. I don't just say it because it's, it's like positive and fluffy. I say it because it's meaningful and the meaningful things in your life are going to be the things that were based in connection and not the things that were based in the stuff or the passing feelings that you have when you know you get something or maybe you make a smart comment or a snarky comment on social media that doesn't count the connections are truly going to make the difference in your future and in your life so i hope this little tidbit helps you think more of connection and your agency over it thank you so much for spending some time with me here today i never take it for granted that you're willing to connect with me i can't wait till next time and until then i want you to remember you have the agency to make all the connections that you need to and that you should because it matters. Talk to you soon. Histories made in the moments. Heroes collide. It's all on the line with our backs against the wall. We.